Hey there folks, before I begin this battle, I have something serious that I need to discuss with you. It is one thing to post in, my, in the comments field uh, derogatory comments about me calling me a noob, calling me an idiot, criticizing my decisions in battles. That's one thing. It is entirely a different thing to flame my opponents. Uh, my opponents did not choose to have this battle uploaded to my channel, um, and consequently I will not tolerate any derogatory comments on any of my videos from here on out that criticize my opponents in anything but a constructive fashion. So calling my opponent a noob, calling my opponent an idiot, those kinds of things will not be tolerated. I will delete the comments immediately once I see them, and if you post them again, I will block you. That's right, I will block you. I will, I'll miss the sub, but you know what? Sub count really isn't any everything for me. So anyway, down to the battle. It is against Toxic Gas Giant, who I battled, uh, I battled with actually a few times before. It's an NU battle. I lead off with my, um, I lead off with my Relicanthus. He leads off with my Macargo. I scare him out, go for the Stealth Rock on the first turn. And now I'm not sure whether I can take an Earthquake from Marowak. It depends on whether he's banded or not. I'm not going to want to find out. I'm just going to switch out into Onion. Uh, predicting the Earthquake and just knowing that I can Revenge Kill quite easily. Instead, he goes for the Swords Dance on the Switch. An excellent move. A very excellent move. Here I go for the Giga Drain. Um, fully expecting it to KO, full, uh, and I'm pretty sure I'll run the calcs and post them, but I'm pretty sure if it was a uh, no HP investment set, I would have KO'd. Instead, he survives. I'm like, holy crap, I cannot believe you survived. So obviously this guy's running somewhat of a bulkier set. He KOs me with a Thunder Punch, and, um, you know, a plus two makes a lot of sense. Marowak has pretty impressive attack, and it almost certainly has the Bone Club, which boosts its attack. Uh, so anyway, uh, here he switches out into Vileplume. Not sure why Vileplume. I guess he figured he, there was really no one who could take the Air Slash. Uh, although, Slowking especially defensive. I don't know, I guess he didn't want to take the Discharge either. Maybe he thought I was going to go for the Discharge expecting the switch. Not sure. Anyway, two air slashes is going to KO his Vileplume. I guess he figured he wanted the free switch on the next turn, um, expecting me to be Scarfed. I mean, Scarf, uh, Rotom, uh, fan form is fairly common. Uh, but unfortunately for him, I am not Scarfed. I am the Para Fusion Flinch set. Um, I run Confusion, Discharge, or uh, sorry, Confuse Ray, Discharge. Air Slash, and Pain Split is my last move. It is a super duper uh, annoying set, and I love it to death. So anyway, he sends out Macargo here. Uh, Macargo should be able to take these, tank these hits quite well, and as you see, it's doing so. Um, but, and I'm thinking that he'll probably be able to KO me with a super effective Rock-type move, or maybe not KO, but do a lot of damage to me. Instead, that Rock Slide does very, very little. I was surprised at how little that did. So here I'm thinking that another Discharge has a good shot of KOing Macargo. Uh, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But at the very least it should get him pretty low and I don't expect him to be able to KO me. I get the paral Paralysis, he goes for Recover. Excellent move on his part considering that my Discharges are doing less than half. Unfortunately that Para Fusion, or that, uh, that Para Hack is going to screw him over if he decides to stay in. Um, yeah, so... I mean, just one time in four is all I really need to be able to KO, especially considering I carry the Confuse Race, so now there's, um, if he just wants to stall me out with recovers, he's not really going to be able to, considering that half the time, plus a little bit extra, he's going to either hit himself in the Confusion or be fully paralyzed. Yeah, hit himself in the Confusion isn't really going to do much to him. Uh, my cargo is actually a pretty bulky Pokemon, all things considered. Um, so yeah... He's going to withdraw here, uh, go out into Marowak. I'm not sure if I predict this or not. Oh uh, yeah, he survives with just a little bit of HP. I, I do predict the switch out. Go for the Air Slash, and it does manage to KO Marowak. Not like I couldn't have KO'd it on the next turn. So that's a dead Marowak. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, excellent for me. Go out, He goes out into Weezing. Not sure how much I have to fear from this Weezing. Uh, I was actually surprised that Weezing's NU. I've, I feel like I've seen it in the higher tiers fairly often. Um, at least UU for sure. So get that Weezing confused. Uh, he hits himself in the confusion. So the Hacks gods are not smiling favorably upon my opponent. And now I can just go for the discharges. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
I can ju and Weezing doesn't have the absolute best special defense. It's mostly a defensive Pokemon, physically defensive as I recall. So the discharge uh, gets him down to about half. Here he goes for the will o -Wisp just to get some residual damage off him, and unfortunately he misses. Uh, I don't know whether you can really call that hacks. I mean, Confusion 50% chance of uh, hitting yourself. Uh, will o -Wisp has, what, 70% accuracy? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Weezing is going to manage to get off the will o -Wisp here, get off the residual damage. Uh, I do not, I actually do have a cleric on this team, but I see no reason to switch it in uh, when. Tachikoma is doing as well as it is. Uh, I got a little bitty, I don't know if you can call this a sweep considering it's pretty stally for a sweep and taking pretty long to um, KO, but I've gotten now three KOs with this uh, Rotom uh, fan form, so I guess you can call it a sweep. Still, I consider sweeps to be a little bit more fast paced than this. Now out is going to come Regigigas. Now, have, on this when I saw that Regigigas on Team Pure, I was like, oh god, please, no. Because I had just been up against a Regigigas in a doubles battle that I'll be uploading at some point soon. And my god, it was the most annoying Pokemon ever. Now, a lot of that had to do with the, I mean, a lot of that had to do with the fact that it was a doubles battle and uh, it had gotten slow starts, skill swapped off of it. But a lot of it also has to do with the fact that it is a bulky bastard. It is a really bulky Pokemon. Uh, and so, yeah. I am... I just decide I'm gonna go for the. Just keep on attacking. Uh, he, my opponent actually decides to withdraw Regigigas, so I was a bit surprised there. Goes out into Slowking, I guess expecting the Air Slash. Um, I go for the Discharge though. It's still, Slowking has very, very good um, special defense, so it takes that hit rather well. It almost certainly has Regenerator, so he could just switch it out uh, and regain most of that health with Regenerator. Um, or maybe he won't. We'll have to find out. So yeah, taking some health, uh, some uh, health loss with that burn. Going to go for the discharge, expecting it to, if not KO, then get it down pretty low. He survives on a sliver of HP. Goes for the surf. Um, interesting that it's surf and not scald. Uh, but in this case, I'm already burned, so he wouldn't really want the scald. I'm down to very low HP. I can't switch out anymore because if I did, then I would die to stealth rock damage on coming back in down to 6 HP, uh, go for the Discharge. I could have gone for a Pain Split expecting him to switch in someone else, but figure just get the safe KO, and you know, if, if, if that thing had stayed and gone for the Slack Off, it would have been a very, very bad situation. Tachikoma is going to get taken out this turn, so bye-bye Rotom cut form. did an excellent job. Four KOs in this battle. Well, I don't know if you can really count the, um, the KO of Marowak as a KO. It was really finishing off the Marowak. But whatever. Anyway, predicting him to go into either, well, either of his Pokemon that are out are going to be weak to a super effective superpower. I am Scarfed, um, so outspeeding was no, well, really, even if I were banded, outspeeding wouldn't be an issue. So, see what I mean about Regigigas being so bulky? He survives that attack. I, I think I'm jolly not adamant, but even so. So here, at minus one uh, defense, I'm a little bit concerned about how much that Earthquake is going to do. And it gets my health pretty low, but thanks to Slow Start, I actually survive. Most Regigiguses, I guess, tend to be more support sets, because it takes so... I mean, five turns is an eternity for Slow Start to wear off. So go for another superpower, KO Regigigas. I am now at minus two attack, minus two defense, and I'm expecting his Makaru to be able to come in, uh, tank a hit, and revenge kill. Now that I am down to 31 HP. Makaru is at about half health. I'm going to go for the superpower, and again, I'm just expecting to die and uh, be revenge. I'm just expecting not to KO uh, and for him to revenge kill me. Interestingly, I do KO. Uh, that's. I was. I guess Macargo. I mean, I actually was really surprised because I thought Macargo was bulkier than that, but oh uh, well. So I have defeated my opponent 4 2. Great game, Toxic Gas Giant. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.